to be yet another heat wave. The city of Waterbury is keeping its cooling centers open through Monday. Fox 61's Tony Black spoke with those using the water of Waterbury to stay cool. It's been a little hot, but right now it, it feels great. Another hot and humid day in Connecticut. As if the six day heat wave in July wasn't enough, it's making a second summer emergence. It's just another opportunity for kids in Waterbury to splash on the splash pad at Chase Park. Great, but it's cold. There's water activities across the city for families to cool off at. The kids love the, um, the water park. I hope that everyone else can do the same as we're doing, you know, enjoying family. You know, taking time is very important. The splash of the pads <laughs> to the waves of the pool. I love that they have like a, a city pool that's free for the kids. The city has three pools for people to dip in. This family coming to Fulton Park simply because it's hot. It's the humidity and it's like you're just breathing in heat. Yes, and so this is the best place to be, by the water. The city opened two cooling centers, including the North End Recreation Center here, and extended their hours through Monday. But if people aren't using the air conditioning to beat the heat, they're using the pools or the splash pads here in Waterbury. I had a house full of babies, so which better way to cool them off than bring them to the pool? Connecticut's extreme hot weather protocol will last through Tuesday. Parents stress the importance of keeping the kids hydrated and protected against the sun through the heat wave. It so hot, like it's like uncomfortably hot. The kids simply enjoying the last few weeks of summer before it's back to class. In Waterbury, Tony Black, Fox 61 News.